Hello everybody, my name is AK and welcome back to Secrets of Grindia. So, I was contemplating what exactly I wanted to go and do on this particular video because there are multiple things we can go and do. Uh, last video, of course, if you remember, we got all the cards for all the monsters we have encountered so far. I do want to go make some progress on today's video, which is definitely what I will do. However, I do at some point soon also want to go back to these areas again. And I want to focus myself on two different things. One is I want to go and do the side quests because, you know, I would like to do them when we're somewhat level appropriate and not when we're, you know, completely and utterly overleveled. And also, if you remember, there is the whole fishing thing that I haven't really shown you guys, but I do want to show off at some point in the series because I obviously do want to go 100% completion on that as well. Uh, that will probably be a lot of me cutting it out as well, just like the grinding stuff. But for today's video, uh, let's make some progress. So, as I talked about in the last video, let me go over to the game difficulty and put it up to hard and see, you know, if we get absolutely slaughtered now. I also uh, thought a little bit about the skills I wanted to start using. So there's many skills we can use. You know, there are skills in obviously both the uh, the fire magic, uh, ice magic, earth magic and air magic. There's also the utility stuff. And I do want to run you guys through what the options are. So the offensive ones, this one creates a blade above me and deals damage. Uh, this one freezes an enemy in space and time and removes them from the fight. Which I guess could be really cool if we're fighting like two enemies at once and we have to freeze one of them or something. This is a taunt and it will attack me. Which... I don't know if that's great. I guess that's probably better on the melee build. Then we have a barrier that protects you or a friend against enemy attacks. Now I don't know if this friend can also be my frosty friend. Because that would be quite nice because I can protect my summons that way. This is uh, increased, uh, increasing my EP regen. And uh, we can make the next spell cheaper. We have a teleport to the target location. Now, I don't know how that works with my controller, but, you know, I'll try it at some point. And then we have uh, infusing myself or an ally with power, increasing attack and magic attack for a short duration. Buffing myself or an, al an ally, increasing attack speed and um, um, casting speed for a short duration. And then we have increasing defense, shield regen and um, EP regen. So I was thinking I'm c I can do two things and I'm still a little bit torn. I'll probably, well, work into both of them. Uh, first of all, I would like to take Empower, just because it's going to give us a bit of, um, you know, additional uh, uh, magic attack, which is what our summons, of course, scale off, and I want to really embrace this whole summoner build. So cast a buff on yourself or on an ally, increasing both attack and magic attack by 15%, plus 2.5% for every extra point put into the skill. So if we put all points in there, it's going to be 22.5%. It lasts 15 seconds and we can refresh the duration if we want to. Plus, the um, energy cost is actually within our current limits. So, uh, I will grab this. And I actually don't want to put it like, easily accessible on my bar somewhere. It's it's up here now. That's not too bad. So, this is going to give us more EP for a second. And I guess we can see it. Yeah, we have 235 right now. And, you know, because it's a percentage boost, it should also scale with us as we get stronger. So that's going to make it a lot nicer. Uh, one other ability that I'll probably look into later is this ability right here. It is a summon plant. It's the third summon. It's a bit wonky. It says summon plants that will attack enemies that come close. Higher charge level summon different plants. And you can see it's a small plant that will stay in place and attack any enemies that come close. You can create more than one. And well, there are multiple things. You know, if you want to quickly read through this, like it's a plant boss and stuff, um, you know, you can freeze frame it. You can, you can like, pause the video and you can read through it you know i kind of give you a spoiler there but uh, we might look into this one but you know especially the first level i find it to be a bit obnoxious to use because we have to charge it up for a relatively long time and then we have to put it down in one specific spot it could be good for like boss uh, uptime like boss da damage i think because we can put it next to the boss but for normal mobs you know they die before we even have to summon out and then, you know we have to resummon it constantly and it's a bit annoying as for the talents I'm not 100% decided yet. I'm still thinking uh, what I want to do. Of course, I do want to, you know, push into endurance a bit further. But after that, I'm not entirely sure yet. Maybe I'll grab the um, uh, adaptable, which gives me more attack and magic attack per talent level. So it's going to be 5% more as well. But we'll have to see about that in, in just a bit. So uh, that is the little random stuff that I want to get out. Let us actually go back. If you remember our current quest, you can probably... Um, can I see which one? We are currently on which one we will be doing we had the ancient temple we did that 
And yeah, bring Amalot to Quinton in the Collector's HQ. So let's go back to the, the Collector's HQ. So we can, of course, use our, um, our teleportation to go back to Evergrind City. The nice portal opens up. We step through it and we are now good. I go up here. There's also a quest over there. We will talk about that later. As I said, you know, side quest or something. I definitely want to go and do, but we have a bit of a cutscene. And what happens here? Hasn't your father taught you anything? Commoners should make way for nobility. Passants these days. Oh, but I must compliment you on one thing. This amulet was quite a find. It will fit perfectly in my family's artifact collection. So he's robbed us. What? How did he? Unforgivable. Don't let him get away, kid. So just as you were to hand Amalat in, Morino took him and ran down towards the Evergrind city center. You can't let him push you around like this. Catch up with him and take back what's rightfully yours. So yeah, let's uh, let's start running after him and try and taking our uh, our thing back. You know, he's gonna he's gonna run away from it. This is a little bit of the stuff that I did do on my test file. Pretty much this is like the last stuff I did. It's gonna open up a cool place, by the way, that we were able to go to before, or like we were able to see before, but we weren't able to go to before. It's gonna open it up. Uh, we're going to go to his house, actually. A little bit of a spoiler there, potentially. But, you know, we just keep following him through the city. It's a really cool looking city. You know, I really like this. I feel like this is such a gem of a game that... Um, I feel it deserves more attention. So I'm really curious to see what will happen when this game finally does launch. And whether it's going to, you know, blow up on Steam a little bit. It's not the kind of game that I feel is going to blow up like massively. You know, like uh, like Power World or uh, Last Epoch did so far. But uh, this game might get a bit of a surge in players, which would be very nice because the developers definitely deserve that. So let's confront Marino. You really won't give up, will you? Let me seize this opportunity to teach you a lesson about the social order. If you accuse me of stealing this amulet, who do you think they believe? The word of some mountain kid or that of a noble? The moment I lifted this thing out of your dirty pouch, it was mine in the eyes of the law. But then again, I haven't gotten to practice my fencing in quite some time. So let's settle this like your kind of wood. So we have to go and battle him. Now the good thing is, if you can defeat me, you can have your trinket back. I'll show you how a gentleman fights on guard. All right, let me let me summon my um my my big boy summons. Wait, that's a small one. Wait, wait, hold on. This one needs to go, go, go away. No, I, go away. I will resummon you. It's fine. We're gonna absolutely tear him apart, guys. Wait, can I please hit the summons in? I should probably do this before the fight next time. Oh, wait, I'm actually... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm greedy, I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Okay. Okay, I... <laughs> that was quite an impressive display of unimpressiveness. Okay. Um, I did not come in prepared. For, for one, I forgot we were on hard. And for two, I kind of didn't have my summons prepared. So summoning them during the fight was suboptimal. Let's actually just completely nuke him now. All right, here we go. What we do is we dodge his first attack. We get extra damage in. Whoa, whoa, he's teleporting. He's got cool abilities. Whoa, wait, actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. So the funny thing is, whoa. Wait, he's actually even so much stronger than I... Oh, just did it. Damn it. First look, and now this dim wit. So guys, um, on my test file, I played through this on normal difficulty, and he died in like literally two seconds. And I was actually weaker in the test file. So the difference between normal and hard for boss fights is ridiculous. And this makes me very worried, because I remember struggling with some boss fights later on on my play file, like, you know, 2016 or whatever. And playing it on hard might prove to be quite the challenge, but we will see how that goes. So damn it, first look and now this dimwit. Take your worthless trinket. I have no use for it. We appreciate that we fought for it hard. Let that be a life lesson, Brad. Never steal things from people stronger than you. I mean, we were only marginally stronger. You know, if we didn't have the cards, this would be very difficult because we got like 150 HP or something from just those cards. But the cool thing is, with the game being more difficult, I will now appreciate stat increases and build craft more so the grinding actually will feel rewarding now so i you know you might think that i'm sad about this being harder but i actually do much prefer this that was quite the enjoyable diversion but we have business to attend to let's get back to the collector's hq and turn this thing in 
part quest and complete a thieving rival. So we can also go into his house, by the way. I don't think there's too much to talk about here. Polishing marble is tough work, but it gets real beautiful when it's clean. He does have a cool looking mansion. There are these, um, are these like plaques or something? I'm not even sure what they are. It's been a good year, so we're giving more to the charities than usual. I wonder if we might find some new cause to support. I mean, you can support my cause. You know, I, I am very much a supportable cause. Please, please do support me. We also got a new track for this, just this specific place, which is kind of cool. I can't actually remember what's in here because I'm... Oh, there's actually a question here. Okay. Um, hello. Look, look, look at this girl cutting. Look at her, how quick she is. They're also magically floating in there. Can you become my cook, please? Like IRL. Because I need someone like that. There are more servants than masters working here, but servants have to eat too, so I have my plate full. I guess we can talk to the quest giver here. Oh, a collector. What great timing. We're having monster trouble down in the cellar. Why don't you bug Marino about it? He's a collector too, you know. Handing a quest to the son of my own employer? How do you think that will come across? All right, fair point. What's the trouble then? Oh, it's a slime. It's jumping around, spreading filthy goo all over the place. One slime? Haha. <laughs> Not all quests are created equal, I guess. So you'll take it? Oh, good. I'll stay up here if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, we'll be right back. Mimi, one of the maids in Merino Mansion, has asked you to go down and defeat a slime that has found its way into the kitchen cellar. It's not very glamorous work, but even a single slime is dangerous for regular civilians. Um, my HP is currently 25. But I'm going to go in anyway. We get a bit of a cutscene. And I think this is new because I don't think I've ever played this before. So this is completely blind for me. Hey, it's pitch black down here. Oh, sorry. The light switch is up here. I'll turn it on. Well, that thing is more sizable than I expected. The Furious Giga Slime. Um, so we might be in for a bit of a, a pickle, as they say. Oh, boy. This thing is so tanky. I'm not sure we are ready to take this thing on yet. This is, I think this is just a rehash of the original fight. But we want to commit for this entire fight. I mean, it's a long fight, but my, my summon seems to be doing quite all right in terms of, you know, just DPSing down the little ones. But he's going to probably also have the ability to spin like the other one had. I'm at least full HP for this fight again, apparently. So that's cool. Do you get full HP when you map transition? So what I should do is I should have him... Use the attack. Oh, I actually unsummoned him. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So, what I want him to do is get the extra attack boost. Here we go. The big damage. Uh, let's also make sure we use this ability. So, now we get more attack and our summons get harder. Dude, our movement speed is going to get so absolutely fucked in here. Like, how am I supposed to move in this room? I don't think I'm ready to take this one on yet. Oh, we have pretty decent DPS, but we just don't have enough DPS to take him down. Now, I don't know if this stuff will be despawning. And I also don't know if they drop health orbs here. If they drop health orbs, then maybe I can sustain through, but... Yeah, this is gonna, this is not going to work out, is it? I feel like I'm going to get absolutely clapped here. Please drop some health orbs. Aha! Uh -huh. I juked you. Now, can I just, like, walk under him? Like, keep... Keep doing the same thing. Oh no, he's dropping more. Drop Hellfall, please. Ah, I'm in the goop. Okay, yeah, this fight is not for me to handle. You know, probably on normal mode, we just we would have clapped him. Uh, your movement was so slow, I could barely stay awake. Get a grip, kids. I mean, that was definitely true, but that was not because of me. That was because of the stuff on the floor, the goop. So uh, this is a point, guys. You know, think about this, memorize this. Um, well, I mean, that's going to be on me, but... Um, you know, if you if you remember this, we will at some point return here and this guest line will get absolutely clapped, but it might be a while because that thing, that thing looks powerful and I am not yet as powerful. So I think this is just the, yeah, this is just the top room. So let's also go and explore this real quick and then we have everything in the mansion done. There is a lot of stuff here, by the way. It's a pretty big mansion. There's also these pictures, but I don't think we can interact with those. No, we can't. Uh, there's this, um, this chest here as well. A treasure map. Cool. I did not know about that. I love to clean this room. The plants are so beautiful. It's strange to me that someone as stern as Master Vladimir, so it's not Vladimir, guys, it's Vladimir, has such a deft and gentle hand with plants. 
and we have found someone's bedroom apparently. It's a bit of a small bed, but hey, who am I to complain? Hello. Another bedroom. Uh, nothing seems to be in here. A bit of a plushie, some swords. This is Marino's bedroom because, you know, he's a fencer and stuff. And there's like all these... Like, this would strike me as Marino's bedroom. You know, like the guy's got some trophies. The guy's like, you know, look at me. I'm super cool. I'm the best. I think that's Marino's bedroom. Please behave in here and don't make a mess. If you plan to visit Master Vladimir, don't forget your manners. Alfred, Alfred, don't worry. Don't worry. Good day, sir. Hmm, you became a collector at the same time as Marino, didn't you? A rival, huh? Ooh, goblet. Another artifact. Marino's, perhaps. Not mine. You seem strong, kid, and you keep your mouth shut. Two qualities are like in a hard worker. Spoken like a true businessman, a fool who mistakes money for power, an adventurer for work. There are no mistakes in those comparisons. The power of collectors will fade in time, you'll see. Aren't you a collector yourself? Oh, I sure am, and I shall make sure all my descendants will be as well. After all, the status is beneficial to my business. This does not change the fact that my power lies in my wealth, not the blue uniform in my closet. Now scram, Brad. Time is money and you're not making us any. Alright, so... Um, he seems to be a, some, uh, a, a collector himself, but doesn't seem to be too fond of collectors. Although, you know, he does want his lineage to be collectors just because he wants the added um well prestige almost i guess look at how strong they are now like, they just crush my shield no problem whatsoever so yeah we might definitely struggle a little bit on um on this playthrough just like dealing with these mobs but you know that's gonna be the fun part and i can always swap back to normal if i do want to you know if it doesn't work out at all um you know he's gonna Say something about the potions again, I think. Hey again, my great uncle told me to send you to him if I saw you in town. He's in a bind and he hopes you can be a bit of help. So head inside the potion shop. I'm sure there's a reward in it for you. So another quest will be in here. Um, like I said, you know, I want to make some progress in the main story, but I'll be returning here to do some side quests later on. And we'll just go through all of these, probably in like one or two videos. And uh, we're going to have a good time doing that. But for now, we uh, we need to go back to the Collector's HQ because, of course, we got Amalad back, which we want to bring to Quinton. The, uh, the headmaster, who I think is going to be at the bottom floor. Yeah, there he is. My, you've certainly outdone yourself, clearing a temple on your first assignment. An ancient artifact, you say? That sounds like something for your father to have a look at. At my age, it's tough business walking up these stairs. Did you bring it to him yourself? He's working in the lab to the right on the top floor. Bring Amalata to your father. Okay, uh, so we go up here and let's go see our dad. Dad? Bring him here. Amazing. Many collectors live through entire careers without finding an artifact such as this. I'm proud of you. Both as a father and as a collector. You've got all the talent of your mother. Credit where credit is due. Old man, don't forget the one pulling the strings. Though I will say the kid did rather well. Or a shrimp like him anyway. Of course. Thank you for looking after my son, old friend. With your mentoring, I'm confident he will reach his full potential. Mentoring? You bring shame to your kin, you treacherous pouch. What kind of artifact would befriend a mortal? Your weakness disgusts me. And yet here we are, Amalet. You're on the trophy stand and I am not. I hope your dignity gives you comfort as you rust away in this place, while I'm out there finding more artifacts to betray. My lady, please, you cannot go in there without permission. Collector assignments must go through the proper channels. Well, I've already tried the proper channels, and you won't listen to me. If the guildmaster doesn't want to help us, she can tell it to my sparkling green face. Sparkling green face? Hmm? Come on, let's go see what all this commotion is about. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Also, there's like this blinking button over here. I understand your frustration, my lady, but I would highly advise against disturbing the master. Master Schmaster, I'm not afraid of some sh silly shut-in. Open the door or I'll open it myself. Don't be rash, you're clearly in the disadvantage here. Let's just all calm down and be civil. Stupid, stubborn humans. Ah, goodbye, giant door. I wish it hadn't come down to this. What are you? 
then the random fairy person just blows open the door, apparently. Oh, dear. It's her, just as, I, just as I suspected. This might actually be great news. Come on, sport, let's go. Who is her? Who are we? Where are we? What is life? <gasps> this place is so creepy. But I can't be faced. Stick to your guns, Naniva. Hey, lady, I've got business with you. Quit staring at the window and look me in the face. And to think I turned down a bug spray salesman just last week. Quinton, would you be so kind as to bring me the fly swatter? It's right there on the table to the far left. No, wait, I'm not a bug, I'm a... I know what you are, you imbecile. You're, you're a nosy little fay, and more importantly, a trespasser on our lands. Tell me, Ladybug, why have you crawled out of your secret little city to come here? Because the artifact in the Temple of Seasons suddenly woke up, and it made the Winter Elder go completely bonkers. He took the artifact for himself, and now he's stronger than ever, destroying anyone who opposed him. The other Elders would sooner die than to ask for outside help, but how could I possibly put my pride before the lives of my friends? Please, Grandmaster, you have to help us. Your fairies could go extinct and no one in Evergrind would even notice. Why exactly do I have to help you? Because the artifact that's destroying us was made by humans. Now, now, that's quite the ac accusation, little one. The Fae only craft with nature, sticks, leaves and sometimes stones. The artifact is crafted entirely from rare metals. Who but humans could have made it? I won't send people into danger based upon the conjecture of a moth. Guards, put that miscreant in a bottle and send her back to where she belongs. Ivy, wait. Mm hmm. Isn't it the duty of a collector to find rare and valuable items that ordinary people cannot obtain? The Temple of Seasons must have great amounts of valuable treasure, not to mention the ancient artifact itself. How can we stand idly by and let this child slip, us, slip past us? Whether in the hands of the Fae or in the rubble of their city, the artifact will survive. We do not have any high-ranking collectors to spare for this mission. When we do, we'll bring what we can from the ruins. Jeez, who is she, the devil? My wife, Charlotte, often visited the Fae when she was young. She loved it there. To honor her memory, I'd like to take this mission on myself. All the manpower I need is my own son. A cripple and his kid? Fine. I hand this problem over to you. Whether you fail or succeed, make sure that annoying fairy stays where she belongs. Thank you, Grandmaster. Your wife's name's Charlotte? Hey, that means you're... It's a pleasure to actually meet you, Spring Elven Aniva. I've heard much about you. So, now we've just had confirmation that this is Spring Elder Naniva and apparently Winter Elder someone woke up in a bit of a bad mood. Yes, that's all very interesting. In fact, how should I put this? Get out of my office. Okay, uh, sure. Now, apologies, Grandmaster. We'll continue this discussion outside. So, uh, let's, let's leave this place and... Um... Ooh, that was... That was... That was so scary. Why did you humans have a leader like her? I thought I was a goner for sure. Aha, uh -huh, she can be quite intimidating at times, but as a strong leader, you must be that kind of person, I guess. We got what we wanted, and that's what matters. Time is of the essence, let's make haste. Chief, I'm getting the most miraculous readings in the lab. I think I'm on the cusp of a great breakthrough, and I really need you to take a look. I, I can't be helped then. I'm not much using the field with only one arm anyway. I'm sorry, Naniva, but could you accompany my son to Santa Fe? Of course I would. We Fae believe children inherit their parents' spirits. It will be like hanging out with Charlotte again. I'm glad you feel that way. It'll be the best. I'll be the best sidekick you could uh, sidekick you could ever ask for. So yeah, no, this is absolutely not going to happen. Oh, Dreads, he already has a sidekick. Wait, what did you just call me? Back, please. She might not be a cup of tea to be around, but we need her help. The way to Santa Fe and the artifact is sealed, shot by fairy magic. You can probably guess whom here can use that. <laughs> it's me. All right, kids, here's the deal. We go to Sison, find the secret entrance, have the butterfly cast her spell, and then we leave her. The faster we do all this, the less likely it is I'll throw myself in a fire. 
Cheer up, you grouchy pouchy. You and I will make the best sidekick team ever. Just kill me now. He disappeared. Oh, well. See you soon, Mr. Husband of Charlotte. We're off to save the day. Please be careful, Spring Elder. I'll keep busy in the lab while I await your return. Okay, kid. I'm a pretty good adventurer myself, so I'll be sure to give you some pointers. Flash that smile and let's go. So, new quest and a lot of dialogue later. The Elder Fae of Winter has run amok, and the Spring Elder Naniva has sought your help. You must go to Sison, to the west of Evergrind City, and find the entrance to Santa Fe. According to Naniva, the entrance to the city can be found in the far west, hidden by powerful fairy magic. So, we must go to the west of Evergrind City. Well, I couldn't quickly find that, so let's go to the west and uh, make a little bit more progress. You know, the video is already 26 minutes. I'll keep it going for a little bit longer because I do want to... Hey, listen, when you see this window, I'm giving you some fantastic hints. I hope you like them. So yeah, I would like to keep on pushing forward with the story a little bit because obviously we haven't even left town just yet. I... When you see the hey, listen window, Naniva is trying to rub off some of her stupidity on you. Just ignore her and maybe she will shut up and fly into a light or something. And obviously, in case you didn't know, by the way, the hey, hey, listen, hey, you don't have to be so mean. I have feelers too, you know. No, wait, I mean feelings, not feelers. Oh, dreads. So, in case you're unaware uh, of the hey, hey, listen meme. You know, I, stop interrupting me. What's that? I didn't hear you over the sound of me ignoring you completely. Let's go, kid. So the meme is uh, from Zelda, where you have this uh, fairy with you constantly that is that is like, hey, 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 listen, hey, listen. And it's super annoying at some point. And, well, you just kind of... This here is a bush. You can whack him with your weapon by pressing X to get berries and stuff. Oh, really? Oh, really? I I didn't know that yet. This is a an NPC, a non-player character. You can interact with most NPCs by walking up to them and pressing the A button. Hey, listen. So this is obviously all a... Being a collector seems fun. This is all a big play on the uh, annoyance, I think, of the, um, you know, uh, the, the hey, listen, original meme. Because she's telling you things you already know. She's just, like, kind of bothering you. And that's really just kind of how how it went in, uh, in Zelda as well. Good job. When you defeat an enemy, they'll drop loot for your fat bag to gobble up. Did you just call my bag fat? You do realize we've been doing this for a while, right? Before we met you, right? Shut up. So as far as I'm aware, uh, changing your difficulty to hard doesn't do anything except for making the game more difficult, doesn't up the rewards or anything. What's that? I'm afraid I don't speak grumpy. <laughs> I sure I got him this time. I'm sure you did, Fairy. I'm sure you did. If you type slash shut up in the chat, you can disable almost all of Naniva's jabbering. What are you waiting for? Well, you know, I'm committed to reading all of this beautiful jabbering because jabbering is definitely my jam. So um, we were here before, I do believe, and then we weren't able to do anything. Now, I do... Before moving on, I uh, see a butterfly here, so I will now go and go to my equipment. And we will quickly equip the butterfly net and be like, boop, well, boop, big magenta butterfly. Don't forget to swap our weapon back. Uh, previously, I, I did that and I was hitting stuff with my, um, my butterfly net. Wasn't particularly effective. Also, we haven't had an upgrade for our, our weapon in quite some time. We will at some point get that, of course. Don't worry about that. But I can't remember exactly where we get the next upgrade. But we're definitely going to get some cool upgrades at some point in the future. Which is logical because it's an RPG. So. I think we are supposed to get a cutscene here. Am I mistaken? Also, I am a complete idiot. I went to the east. I'm supposed to go to the west, guys. But instead, I'm going to the east. You know why I'm going to the east? Because this is an enemy. Be careful, unlike barrels and stuff. Enemies fight back. I'd oh, I'd love to help you out, but these things are like 10 times my size. So, um, you know why I went to the, to the, the east? It's because there is like the fairy stuff over there. And in my mind, I had to go there. But obviously, you know, the quest told me go west. And my brain just malfunctioned there for a moment, guys. My apologies. What do we got here? A barrel? Press the X button to whack it until it breaks. No, no, no. You? You shut up for now. 
so we got the Evergrind Fields West. Uh, we have a place up here as well. I'm not sure if I've shown this on the series or if I only went here on my test file. But there is the Ancient Ruins. And it's a pretty cool place. There's also another butterfly up here. So we can once again equip our butterfly net. And go like, loop. And... We can now go talk to Luigi because remember we had to catch at least four of them. So I will do that in just a little bit. But first, let's talk to this lady over here who seems to be an explorer of some kind. Don't you, I like, like how she's called Ruin, by the way. Don't you just love ancient remnants like this? So much mystery and such air of shrouded importance. This stone plate here with the faded text makes me believe it used to be some kind of memorial. I so wonder what great person or event it stood for. Yeah, so what 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 happened here guys? What what did happen here? Would you care to make a guess? No? Okay. Well, we'll come back here later. Uh before moving on, I, I do very quickly want to just run back into town now. Guys, you know, I'm sorry for keeping this like keeping us going like all over the place constantly, but I have so many things that I want to show and like I'm trying to figure out, you know, what order is, is best and stuff. But uh I wanna run back to this guy now because obviously we got the um the butterflies for him. How wonderful! With these matriarchs, the city will be able to sustain its very own family of butterflies. Thank you for your efforts. Here, take this super fertilizer. It might not seem like a great thing, but it's very useful. It can make a sprout grow into a sturdy vine in a matter of seconds. So, this is very, very cool stuff. And I will show you why. So, let me head over because I think by getting this we can do something cool now I'm not sure if we need to trigger like something in the story for this to be able to work or if we can do it already so I'm gonna just quickly verify if we can't do it I'll probably just cut this part out because then it looks like I'm stupid but because you know I'm obviously hyper intelligent I do want to walk up to this little plant remember this plant from the very start well do you want to use a bag of super fertilizer on this plant? And I only have one. So yes, let's use it. So it's kind of like a key to opening up a door. And we can now grow this plant. Now, I do believe this is a limited resource. I, I, I can't remember if you get enough to get all of them. Uh, but I do think that, you know, this is the first one you ever see. So I would like this one to also be the first one we ever open. So let's go in here. And what have we found? What is this place? Um, we have a... Um, a statue of some sort and then two doors one overgrown one well less overgrown we can't do anything here so we can't hop down but it seems like some ancient temple or something actually we can hop down never mind i just have to press a so where are we now well big jump down really cool looking cavern we can keep going down if the game allows me to there we go And it's a very long path down. And do you guys remember this? We were here ages ago. You know, in the first video, we were here. And uh, we were like, well, I mean, I don't know how to get up there. Well, now we know. And um, this thing, I actually don't know exactly what it does. But um, if I go to my equipment now, you can see that I now have this mysterious cube. And I mean, I didn't even realize it was actually called mysterious cube. I just kind of called it mysterious cube on myself. And it says, looks like a regular cube, but it has a strange aura. The name and Dazzle is carved on the bottom. So what does it do? Don't know. Don't know, but we have it. Check it out, the jar. You can smash it with your weapon by pressing X and pick up the pieces. Now, um, there is also... The... This is a fishing spot. If you have a rod, you can stand here and press the A button to try your luck with the fish. Honestly, though, fish tastes pretty yucky. So we can now go in here, too. And what is up here? Well, I don't know. But we can keep climbing. And we can keep climbing and keep climbing and keep climbing. And now we're all the way up with a reaper. A spout within its seeds may not yet bask in the sun's embrace. When your past has come to pass, return here once more and shatter the scythe that means to reap you. Very cryptic. Sprout. 
probably suggest that we are not yet capable of going here. But it's a really cool looking place. So we can't do anything here yet. We will have to return here at some later point. But I did want to make sure I pointed that out um, before leaving. So, having done that, let us now teleport back to Evergrande Fields. And try and make a little bit of progress before I call the vid. Wait. Did I summon it on? Okay, I summoned it on the plant. Hold on, hold on, guys, hold on. Here we go. Now I can actually step onto it. That was actually weird. All right, let's make a little bit of progress. Like this game has so much stuff to show, guys. You know, I have so many things that I want to talk about, but I need to. I need to contain myself. So we can keep going to the west, you know, as the game has told us to do, and we'll definitely do that. Uh, there's also this rock. We we can't we can't break that yet. I don't know how we break that yet. We will come back there later. Leave me alone, because I make some progress. And we are now in season. And, well, who was expecting it to be snowing? Well, I certainly didn't when I went in here. But um, we did learn that the Winter Fae, the if Winter Elder, had gone crazy. So, wouldn't it make sense that the weather is very um, frosty? So, we can teleport back and forth. So, you wouldn't have been able to go here initially, because you have to have gone to the... Uh, the ancient temple to be able to get the facing ability to be able to go here. So this place is locked off until you get that. We also can't jump down there. But we can of course just walk down here. And look at this. We have a new mob. A blue slime. And let me actually change the... Is, is this the first proper combat besides like that one battle we did with Marino? I think it is. So I can now go to my enemy list. And we can now just look at them one by one. Which I feel like is much better. So we have... Am I, am I blind or is it just down here? It's down here. Okay. Unlike their green brothers from Pillar Mountains, the blue slimes of Sison have taken inspiration from their environment and learned how to sharpen themselves into vicious icicles when attacking. Travelers quickly learn that while human limbs get slow in the cold, the effect on slimes is quite the opposite. Blue slimes are some of the fastest. And then, of course, we also would like to uh, get it. And look at this. This is the red slime card. We can actually see it, apparently, because I guess it's because we faced the humongous red slime so it is now visible to us so we know it's going to be a red slime and we're going to be able to find red slimes uh, later on and over here as well we have the blue slime card so if you know if we can get these you know we're, we're making good progress there aren't that many enemies in this game so you know we're closing in probably like halfway through the mobs or something which is pretty cool so i will at some point of course return here and grind the cards from them but for now let's keep making progress so we can talk to the reaper up here as well Toil on, child. Collect and grow stronger. The goddess watches. The goddess rewards. So what do all those cryptic, cryptic messages by all these um, reapers mean? Well, don't know, man. Don't know. I don't think there's anything else down here we can really do. Nope. So we can just keep moving forward. There's a, oh, a new enemy here as well. This one's really cool. And a bit scary. Like you can you can clearly see you now. Like it's obviously we're moving into a new area, but also just because we're swapping to hard. Dude, I, I keep getting frozen. These mobs have an ability to freeze me, and it's really annoying. I can't seem to move. They are really tanky on this difficulty. So let's also quickly go and check those out. So that's you know the one over here. It's the Yeti card. And the Yeti. The Yeti are the kings among the Sison inhabitants. With their brute strength, they shrug off most attacks while smashing enemies into the ground. On top of this, they have a breath so cold it can freeze their foes in place. And we have definitely noticed that they have 3,000 health. They're, they're, they're quite tough. So you have to be really careful of their, their breath ability because their breath ability does something. And you can see, uh, if you pay attention, our cube triggered. And look at these orbs around us. They seem to be damaging something. Interesting. Here we go. We get these orbs again. So the 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 cube seems to do seems to do something, but we're not quite sure exactly what it does yet. And I don't want to turn this into a proper grinding spot, but you know, I just want to showcase the uh, the ability real quick. So we get a lot of new drops here and stuff. Uh, I will talk more about that later, of course. But for now, let's uh, leave this place and move on a little bit. As I, uh, you know, take these things down, as we have been taught earlier in this video. There's also this little hut. 
But we can't seem to get in there. Now, he might be able to see how this works. There's a teleporter up there. There's a hut. And this ability to jump down. Hmm. Guess we'll have to see how we get up there then. There's also this guy. Well, look at Crate. If you hit it a few times with your weapon, press the X button. You can find items. Are you guys getting annoyed by um, by our fate yet? Didn't think I'd be shoveling snow all summer. What's up with this weather? So, yeah. Um, great summer. Our dad used to have a booming business, but times changed and we ended up here. Nicodemus has been whining ever since, but I can't wait to graduate so I can help out at home. Moving out from Evergrind to this shack was bad enough, and now I get to wait through snow to get to school? Poor Nicodemus. This will be the worst birthday he's ever had. I was going to buy a couple of nice turkeys to cook, but it was way more expensive than I remember from last year. I couldn't afford a single one, let alone two. I hate to ask, but if you could somehow... But if you somehow were to find a couple of turkeys in your travels, could I have them? So, Nicodemus in Cison has his birthday any day now. His mother has asked you to find a couple of turkeys for his birthday dinner. She's probably not sure where you can find those, but it's probably some large bird, right? So, look at what we get. We get experience and what looks like skates. Let me break your home, because obviously, you know, you have sufficient money. Uh, another new mob here, by the way. Uh, the Frostling Roads. They uh, have a bit of a range attack, and by range attack, I mean they throw snowballs at us. The mobs are so much stronger in this difficulty. It's ridiculous. I'm used to playing on normal now, and this is, this is uh, you know, actually... I, like, I might actually have to look into, like, defensive abilities, which is cool, by the way. I love that. I think it's good that I that I even thinking about doing that. Also, my frosty friend apparently isn't currently active, so that might make things a bit more difficult too. He's not been active for a while, I think. So uh, once again, you know, we can go to the list and check out the frostling rogue and the frostling scoundrel, and that's well, I mean, that's the list complete, right? So. Frostling Rogue. The Frostlings are a bunch of mischievous creatures living in Cezanne. The Frostling Rogues build short sticks which they use to distract you while they reach for your coin pouch. If they steal from you, be sure to defeat them quickly before they run off with your life savings so they can steal gold from you. And then we have the Frostling Scoundrel. Uh, the Frostling Scoundrels are huge cowards who don't want to get up close and personal with the people they pick, po they pick fights with. Instead, they provide rain support for the Rogues by throwing snowballs. And I do believe that is all the mobs in this little section. So at least, you know, we've got all of them covered. And is that Santa? Is that Santa, guys? Ho, ho, ho. My back won't be jolly about this one. Hey, you look like you look young and lively and a collector to boot. Maybe you could give old Santa a hand. So, yeah, he is actually Santa, apparently. I was riding through the woods, minding my own business, when a big, naughty frostling jumped out and knocked my sled over. Worst of all, he stole some valuable presents from my bag. I need them back, or else the missus is going to give me an evil. I've seen that frostling before, and I'm pretty sure he has a secret hideout somewhere east of my toy factory. An exceptionally strong frostling has robbed Santa of several expensive presents, and he wants to get them back. Santa said the frostling had a secret lair somewhere in the northern season east of the toy factory so are we not even going to question that santa is here i mean maybe santa isn't isn't as much a um a story told as uh, as he is uh, you know in our reality maybe santa is just you know it's just just a person like you know we we have people that we know and it's like well i mean yeah of course santa is is a thing you know it makes sense so we have to head to the north and uh here we go, a couple more yetis. I have to be a bit careful with my HP now as well, by the way. This is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go, big damage. Oh, okay, never mind. Not, not, not big damage. I'm, I'm a bit scared, guys. I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh, wrong button. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Oh, health orb, health orb. There we go. Thank God I got all the cards. Without the cards, this would have been a pain in my ass. A complete pain in my ass. But. Ah, there we go. Loss of HP. Good. Also, you know, we're at 34,000 gold. I think before the grinding session I did uh, the other day. 
Um, we were at like 16 or something. So we got a lot of golds. Also, obviously, it'd be nice if we can drop one of the cards here. See, and, and the good thing is every mob I kill will, will then later up my, my drop chance if I don't get it. So, you know, I'm, I'm not opposed to killing some stuff, especially also because it's going to give me experience. And uh, there's also, down here, there's this, um, this cave. But there are trees in the way. That's a bit unfortunate. And we can't seem to hop down here. Is even more unfortunate. Hello, who's in here? Ah, is that a lady Santa Claus or whatever uh, her uh, his wife is called? Mrs. Claus, of course, of course, of course. Where is that fat good-for-nothing slacking off now? Doesn't he know there's a toy factory to run? Well, she doesn't seem particularly friendly to me, guys. I um, I'm not sure I'm a supporter of um, of this 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 Santa Claus. But yeah, I am going to be calling the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Next video, we will try and look for the toy factory. And then, of course, we have to look close to it because there's a secret lair where the Frostling is hiding with the gifts for Santa. You know, and we, we, can't, we can't let the children not have gifts, guys. So we'll be back. We'll solve that issue in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day and I'll see you later.